Hello everyone, welcome to the Gate and PTL lecture course. Today we are going to solve some gate problems. Which one of the following relations determine the manner in which electric field lines are reflected across the interface between two dielectric media having dielectric constant epsilon 1 and epsilon 2? So we are given an interface here. This is very much like a plane sheet chart. An electric field above the surface is E1 and below the surface is E2. And with normal to the surface, they are making an angle theta 1 and theta 2. The electric permeability of the surface is epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 for the two surfaces. And we have to find which relation is correct. So how we go towards solving this question is, we just break this. Uh, let me draw it again. So we have this surface and we have the electric field component at an angle theta. And we have another component E2, which is an angle theta 2. So we, what we can do is we break it in parallel and perpendicular component. This is the interface. So there is a parallel component, and there is this perpendicular component. So we have the electric field. We just break it into parallel component and the perpendicular component. Since this angle is theta 1, this is the angle theta 1. So we are left with E1 cos theta, which is a perpendicular component, and E1 sin theta 1, this is the parallel component. And similarly, we can also break E2 in perpendicular and parallel component. So the parallel component, this angle is theta, so this is theta 2. So we have E2 cos theta 2, and we have E2 sin theta 2. So this is the parallel component. Parallel component is going to be continuous. Even parallel equals to E2 parallel. From that, we can say then, which is the parallel component? This one. Epsilon 1 and this one. So E1 sin theta 1 is equals to E2 sin theta 2. So this is our first equation. Next, second is, should we use uh, epsilon, electric field like E1 perpendicular above or e minus e perpendicular below equals to sigma upon epsilon naught or should I use d perpendicular above minus d perpendicular below to add it equals to sigma free charge density. Well, if you look at this question, it is given that the dielectric medium is the interface. So we are going to talk about here is the D field, not the E field. So this is not the equation that we are going to use. This is the one. And we also not given that the interface have any charge. So there is no charge here. The sigma field charge density is 0. So our D perpendicular above is equals to D perpendicular below. So we are going to use this part here. So our D, how D is reacted with epsilon, with electric field, D vector is given by epsilon into electric field. So we can also write that E1, epsilon 1, here above and below are related to this E1 and E2. So I just use E1, epsilon 1, equals to E2, epsilon 2. So we have to look for only the perpendicular component of that. The perpendicular component is cos theta 1. So epsilon 1 E1 cos theta 1 equals to epsilon 2 E2 cos theta 2. Now this is our second equation. We can divide first equation and second equation. And we are left with E1 sin theta 1 divided by epsilon 1 E1 cos theta 1 equals to e2 sin theta 2, epsilon 2, e2 cos theta 2. These terms got cancel out, and we are left with tan theta 1 by epsilon 1, tan theta 2 by epsilon 2. Or epsilon 2 tan theta 1 equals to epsilon 1. And in tan theta, we have just one, which is epsilon 1 tan theta 1. But in our case, we have epsilon 2 tan theta 1. So we uh, equals to epsilon 1 tan theta 2. So we can also change it like epsilon 2 
tan theta 1 is gone on this side and this one is gone on this side so it will become epsilon 2 cot theta 2 equals to epsilon 1 cot theta 1 I assume that you know that tan theta is equals to 1 upon cot theta so this is the correct option in this question Thank you.